Hello and welcome back. In today's video, let's have a look how you can quickly clean up a scanned black and white line art. I will be using an image from oldbookillustrations.com, which is one of my favorite websites to get some inspiration. As a bonus, they also have the raw scan files, which I will open up and copy to the clipboard so I can use it in Affinity Photo. Back in Affinity Photo, I can now use the file New from Clipboard menu to create a new document with the image from the clipboard. Excellent! As always, I will make a copy of the original image by using the duplicate function. I will be working non-destructively in this video, however, I will need a copy of the image later, so the duplicate will come in handy later. So, the first thing we need to do is to adjust the levels. We can use the levels adjustment for this, but I always prefer the curves adjustment. With the curves adjustment, I'm going to move the bottom left node to the start of the curve. For the top right node, I will move it to the end of the curve. Now we have a much better image to work with. Let me rename this adjustment as I'm going to add another curves adjustment. This time we're going to fix the yellow color cast. I can do this by feeling, but if you are not very comfortable with that or want a better fix, you can also use the info panel and drop a marker on a pixel with the yellow color tint. I will set the mode of the marker to RGB and now I can adjust the top right nodes of each channel until the R, G and B values have a value of 250 or more. Perfect! Most of the yellow color tint is now gone. We still have some yellow shadows on the left, but this is not so disturbing as we can crop this out if needed. Depending on your image, you could be done right now. But let me share a couple of extra tips. Let's zoom in first and see how the line art looks up from close. We can make the lines a bit stronger by applying a high pass. I will move the duplicate to the top of the layer stack and apply a high pass filter to it. Make sure it is set to monochrome and increase the radius until you see the outline. This actually generates a very nice effect, which could also be used as a bump map. Anyway, now that we have a nice outline, we can set the blend mode of this layer to hard light. From a distance, the difference is not very visible, so let me zoom in to see the difference better. When I turn the layer on and off, hopefully you see the subtle difference. Perfect. However, if we look closely, there are some artifacts in the larger white areas. To get rid of them, I'm going to add another curves layer and modify the beginning and the end node in a way that we are only left with the black and the whites. The artifacts are now gone. As we are aiming for a black and white image, let's add an HSL adjustment and turn down the saturation to get rid of all the colors. Let's have a quick look at the before and the after. Pretty awesome. Let me share a couple of other tips to further improve the end result. As you might notice, there is still some noise in the black areas. Here are three methods to minimize this noise. First method is just to add a brightness and contrast adjustment to it. We can just minimize the brightness and maximize the contrast. This will get rid of the noise. That looks pretty good. Another method is to apply a threshold adjustment. Let's move the slider until we have a nice clean look. A disadvantage of the threshold adjustment is that the image will get pixelated. One thing you can try is to adjust the blend range of the threshold adjustment for a smoother transition. Let me turn this off too and share with you my favorite method, which is to apply a fill layer with a black color and then set its blend mode to color burn. If I zoom in, you can see its effect. By adjusting the color of the fill layer, you can control the power of the effect. Again, just like with the threshold adjustment, this will generate more pixelated results. 
if we want to smoothen the lines, what we can do is to add the blur effect and then sharpen it. So let's add a Gaussian blur first and make sure it is on top of the layer stack. You want to keep the radius very low, just a tiny bit of blur so the lines will become smoother. Once we have set our Gaussian blur, it is time to add the unsharp mask. Again, let's make sure it is on top of the layer stack. Adjust the radius and the factor until you have a nice result. Let's have a look at the effect of these two adjustments. Looks much better. If the lines have become too thick, you can try to lower the radius in the Gaussian blur adjustment. Also, you can try to adjust the fill color as this will also affect the thickness of the line. As a final tip, you can also try to set the blend mode of the unsharp mask filter to lighter color. Usually, this creates better results and thinner lines as only lighter pixels are added to the image. I will adjust the fill color again to finalize the image to get the end result I'm looking for. Awesome! Let's have a look at the effect of these three layers. Pretty amazing. I think we did a good job with this image. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be safe and be creative. Until the next video.